If in a snap, the moon were to suddenly disappear, would we all be doomed? Is there any way we could survive without it? And if so, just how difficult would life be? Let's find out what would happen if we didn't have a moon. The moon has vanished. We'll get into the catastrophic hows later on. But for now, all we can do is wait, watch, and hopefully adapt as irreversible changes occur on our planet. The immediate effect of a missing moon is a drastic change in our oceans. High tides and low tides change by up to 75%, putting every creature living in any coastal region around the world in grave danger. Crabs, snails, mussels, they all need the tides to thrive and to survive. These animals begin to die out. There's a frightening knock-on effect too. The larger animals living in deeper waters, the ones who relied on the coastal animals to survive, are now out of a vital resource, out of food, and all out of luck. Without adaptation, they too are going to die. Animal populations within the ocean decline, and as a result, so do the numbers on land. Some animals actually rely on lunar cues in order to reproduce. No moon means no cues, and that unsurprisingly is devastating to these creatures. Any people living in coastal regions now have far fewer fish to catch for food, and you can wave goodbye to those waves. Surfing is now a hobby relegated to the history books. Seafood slowly becomes a thing of the past, but if you aren't keen on cod for dinner, you might be thinking this doesn't sound all that bad for humans just yet. It's going to get much worse for everyone. The weather on our planet becomes wildly unpredictable. This is because tides and coastal waters used to balance temperatures and keep our climates in a stable condition. With the moon gone, life in the ocean is almost at a standstill. Warm water in tropical parts of the world is normally moved around via the tides. Without the tides, the warmer water can't make its way around the globe, and therefore it can't regulate the temperatures in other regions. Without the moon, there's no longer a warning system for storms or extreme weather. Forecasts become a distant memory. The weatherman is not only out of a job, his house is in danger of being ripped apart by the many hurricanes whisking their way across the United States. Everyone in every country on Earth now has to somehow prepare for the unpredictable as temperature changes vary between the inconvenient and the impossible to survive. Nights are now much darker. Moonlight is, of course, a thing of the past. After our moon, the next brightest object in our night sky is the planet Venus, but it pales in comparison to our lunar light show. Our moon, when full, is almost 2,000 times brighter than Venus. The effects of not having a moon in our night sky are most certainly noticeable. But there are other changes just around the corner, and without our moon, there is nothing we can do to stop them. The moon's gravitational attraction was what kept our Earth spinning slow and steady. With the moon now gone, the Earth begins to rotate faster than it did before. Our days get shorter. How short? An entire day is now just six to eight hours in length. With old Celine up in space keeping things in check, we had 24 hour days, perfect for fitting in all the work, play, and sleep that we needed. With six hour days now the norm, our sleep and work schedules are really messed up. The schedule switch up is even harsher on the animal kingdom. Every animal on the planet now has no routine to go by. Some animals might thrive in this new environment, but many others will suffer horrendous consequences. Think about any predator that uses nighttime to hunt. Not only do nocturnal animals rely on the darkness at certain times of the day, they also rely on the moonlight to give them the visibility they need to stalk their prey. With the moon ceasing to exist, many nocturnal predators would soon follow. We're talking about the extinction of an untold number of creatures. Now, let's talk about the most drastic change that the disappearance of our only natural satellite would cause, a change in the tilt of the Earth's axis. 
The Earth currently spins on its axis tilted at 23.4 degrees. The Moon's gravitational attraction helps keep us in this position. Other planets that don't have any large moons, like Mars for example, have nothing to regulate their tilt. And while the Earth's tilt changes slightly over time, by just a couple of degrees either way, the tilt of Mars changes up to 10 times as much. Take our moon away, and we're going to see one seismic shift to our axial tilt. Some scientists believe that Jupiter's gravitational pull would help regulate the Earth's axis and keep us from wobbling too wildly without our moon. But this is only a theory and it's possible that Jupiter would have no real effect on our axis at all. Earth's axial tilt is what gives us our seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter. They are all thanks to the gravitational attraction of our moon. If the Earth's axis moved to the point where it had no tilt, we would have no seasons. Or Earth's tilt could become extreme, and we could find ourselves plunged back into an ice age an extinction-level event of the most frosty and frightening variety. The tilt would also affect how much sunlight we would see each day. Have your sunglasses at the ready, because if, say, we found ourselves on a 97-degree tilt, we'd be stuck with 42 consecutive years of only sunlight. Sounds like an everlasting vacation and a surefire way to get a permanent tan. But after those 42 years are done and dusted, Night will fall, and we'll have nothing but total darkness for another 42 years! Of course, this would all mean dangerously sharp changes in temperature in different regions of the world. As the Earth's tilt changes in relation to the Sun, the equator may not always be warm, and places like the Arctic would not always be cold. You can imagine just how disastrous this would really be! Climate change turned up to 11. Natural disasters would dominate our landscapes and make life even more difficult to sustain. So our moon disappearing doesn't sound so great. But there's no reason to worry, right? There's no way our moon could actually disappear, is there? Not quite. You see, one instance where our moon would cease to exist would be if it were hit by a massive asteroid. Actually, it wouldn't even need to be massive. An asteroid about a kilometer in diameter would be enough to blow the moon into pieces. If the blast from the asteroid was weak though, parts of the moon could potentially reform into one smaller moon. But if there's enough power to completely obliterate our lovely lunar friend up there, we'd be looking at some serious chunks of space rock raining down into our atmosphere. These broken pieces of what was once our moon would likely be larger than the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. We're a little luckier than the Tyrannosaurus Rex this time, though. We aren't looking at an end of day scenario, because this debris would approach our planet at a much slower speed, and humanity would almost certainly survive the impact. Not everyone, of course, but life would go on. At least in some form, the moon is now gone after all. And we've already learned just how catastrophic that is going to be in the long run. So the moon is something we absolutely need. But what if we had more than one? You've heard that you can never have too much of a good thing. That doesn't apply here. If we were to say have multiple moons like Saturn, we would experience incredible changes to the ocean. Tides eight times higher than what we know today would become the new standard. Tsunamis would destroy coastal cities and towns, leading to massive population increases inland. Travel via the sea would also become impossible. We'd experience far more solar and lunar eclipses. The night sky would be remarkably bright thanks to the new moons. Having more moons is even more destructive than having none at all. When put up against our sun and all the other planets in our solar system, the moon may not have seemed all that interesting initially. Some people even led us to believe that the moon was made of cheese just to make the celestial body a little more exciting. The truth is though, our moon is vital to life here on Earth. So next time you feel like howling at the moon, or you just stop to admire it shining in our night sky, remember that shine means things are as they should be, and that our planet is perfectly in sync. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel. 
And if you want to learn more about how precious life on our planet really is, check out our video on how climate change could lead to long dead viruses coming back to life to wreak havoc on Earth. This is another scenario that could happen if our moon were to disappear. Thanks for watching.